um, Judge Abdul Wahab al Baghdadi, one of the great, great judges of Islam. He says to reject good cultural usage, good customs, has no meaning at all. Don't think you're following the Sunnah, you're violating the Sunnah. To follow sound custom is an obligation. Okay? And when you see these pictures, you'll see we knew that. We did that. It wasn't just we thought, well, this would be cool. Ashatabi, who is one of our great legal theorists of Granada, is unquestionably one of the most brilliant legal minds in Islamic history. He cautioned us that juristic incompetence, the incompetence of the mufti, of the fapi, or of the mujtahid, could never impose a difficulty upon the people harsher than to require them to repudiate, to give up, and to reject their sound local customs and conventional usage. Leave the Ethiopians alone. Let them be Ethiopians. Let the Chinese be Chinese. They don't have to become Arabs. We don't even want them. Although if you go there today, you will see groups that like, get rid of these Chinese mosques. We're going to have a mosque like we have in our country. Change those clothes. You're going to look like us. And that's culturally predatory. And you're destroying their whole culture. And that also puts them in danger in the eyes of the Chinese because they become alien. By contrast, as Shatibi insisted that the art of handing down fatwas must be in harmony with the good aspects of local culture, and that this fulfills one of the basic Islamic legal obligations of buttressing society's masalih, your well-being. Why do we have traffic lights? So we don't die in car accidents every day, right? So you know that's good. We're not going to know that's not sunnah, there's no practice about that. No, you follow the good cultural conventions of the people. And let's take one more. This is another jurist called Tesuli. He teaches judges how to be judges. And he said, allowing the people to follow their good customs, their good usages, and and general aspirations in life, is obligatory. You don't tell African American Muslims that you've got to become Arabs. No, you be African Americans. You be proud of your past. And you build on that past.